Agharta was once one of the greatest cities of the ancient world, but it didn't take long to fall under the onslaught of the Dark Lord. The lichens were innumerable, and the city was razed to the ground. The necromantic wars, as they were known, destroyed the advanced technologies that the Agartians had closely guarded. Eventually the titans fell, and then the people were massacred one by one, or were turned into beasts subservient to their new conqueror. None now remain to tell the tale. All right, here we go. Wait. Alright, so we are meeting the next character who's pretty much the more important part of uh, um, uh, this chapter, uh, Claudia. You know, we're learning her name for real later on. But that is actually how the sub weapon um, Dark Chris was used. Now, it's the same scene every time with the monster with the boobies, and, but you can skip it. And that's what I'm going to do if I ever have to use the Dark Crystal at all during the Let's Play. This Let's Play. I skip boobies. Because I don't want to get in trouble for having boobies. That did not sound right. Anyway. anyway we just have to go through this level. There's not any real gimmick. Oh, yeah, there is one. Alright, start dealing with these guys. They're also harder to hit with uh, almost the, the combo that's considered the instant focus combo. Anyway, I think we go. We need to use something to jump across that gap. And something is not here. It should be here. Over here, we can move that with the uh, trimmer gauntlet, which is the relic we get for being this chapter. Somewhere around here. I'm surprised the thing didn't show up yet. Or are we supposed to, or I'm supposed to have to actually look at this? Actually, I think I can, well, I can try. I think there's an actual invisible wall there that makes me fall to my death. Anyway, now that we've seen we can't jump or get this distance on our own, there should be something. You know what? See if I can jump the gap. Oh, you can. Ah, that's funny. Shortcuts. You're actually supposed to jump on the warg, and then the warg actually takes you over that. Yay for shortcuts. Anyway, I think we're already at the end of the stage. Sweet. Let's see, you can't break this door on your own. Do we get another Warhog? Did I actually like completely break the stage to where like nothing is showing up? I think I actually brought the stage to the point where nothing's showing up. That's what it's starting to feel like. Now 
Alright, let's backtrack. See if, See what I missed up on. Oh! There he is. He was supposed to show up. Break out this grasp. All these delicious, delicious souls. All right. <coughs> Let's move on now. <coughs> ah, got something stuck in my throat. Door. Break them. Get on out of here. I was do think I'm at almost at this stage. <laughs> Yay for breaking the game! Anyway, we can move on. Ah, oh, crap. Let's go ahead and break him. Let's see what's in this little pouchy thing. Daggers! Instant refill on daggers, yay. And what's up here? Oh, I can't pass it. There's a thing! Yay! I, actually, I can actually show this for real now. Bad doggy. Since you did that, jump on. <coughs> All right. I'm gonna move this over here. Do I actually have to kill these things? I guess so. I actually have to... Here we go. Yeah. You have to actually run, then hit X. And do that again. Yep, this is the war tutorial. And then, you can actually climb vines, too. That part I couldn't have skipped. Wait. And let's go ahead and start going down there and end of stage and Ah oh, I know I was kinda cheap during that last part, but I could be cheap. I could afford being cheap. Anyway, we'll find out why the Claudia jumped down to the bottomless pit. Well, it's not quite bombless. Next time. Also, next time, we'll go through the last four stages of Chapter 2 and the first stage of Chapter 3. You see, Chapter 3 is a lot shorter than Chapter 2. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.